So I'm Hava. I'm from Shilhavet High School in New York. Um, and my interest is in architecture. Okay, great. Um, Nancy, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and, um, and what you do? Okay, I'm Nancy. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a technical program manager. I work for a company that um, is trying to help cities with transportation problems. My background is in electrical engineering, so I do have a STEM background, and I really enjoy learning about architecture with Hala because that's something that leverages my, my background in math and physics because that's a fundamental of in electrical engineering, and I can be glad that I could translate that into architecture, just the fundamentals, at least. It was amazing. Um, great. Um, okay, Chava, can you tell us a little bit about your project idea? So my project idea was a house. Um, I got the idea from a doodle from my friend's sketches in a class. Um, I had to, do you have like any specific question uh, idea? I guess what was your, what was the favorite part of working on this project with Nancy? My favorite part working on the project was being able to, just seeing how I had an idea and I was able to create it by hand. Okay, great. Were there any um, specific challenges with you guys working together um, on this project or over the long distance? Um, it definitely was a challenge for me to have meetings because it was something very new to me. <laughs> So I did miss a few, but we always like got back on track. Okay, great. Were there any specific, um, what was the most challenging part of doing this specific project besides the meetings, like the actual project? The actual project, um, probably working with the clay because clay, um, while it's drying, it can like fold inwards, it can break. So it was definitely challenging to work with the clay. Okay, great. Um, how has working on this project changed your view of this specific field that you were interested in? Um, I definitely see how like measurements really, really matter because without measurements, like it might look good on the outside, but when you walk in it, like you might not even like fit inside. You're like, uh, it looks nice, but you can't really like fit in it. So mm -hmm. like, I really realized how like, all the math that goes into architecture is like really important. Has it's not made, just the building and how it looks. Right. Has that made you, um, you know, more interested or less interested in the specific fields? It made me more interested. Okay, great. Um, what are further plans that you have in pursuing this, um, this interest now that you've done this? Um, when I go to college, I want to take a course in architecture, and I started already an online course that Nancy um, sent me for architecture. Okay, great. That's amazing. Um, Nancy, has doing this um, mentorship changed any, any ways you view your job or um, how? Definitely helps me a lot because it's a different view. I learned a lot from Hava just to go and be brave in areas that I do not have any knowledge of. I know nothing about architecture besides we all live in houses. <laughs> and it was just fun learning SketchUp with her and go, learning the feeling her frustration because I was frustrated with the application and the amount of time we had to deliver the project and going, figuring out what is our goal? Should we focus on learning SketchUp or focus on trying to build her design and working with her and problem solving with her. And she's just really, really, I'm just amazed by her tenacity and to just pick herself up, even though it's challenging and it's hard and dealing with whatever comes through like the pandemic and not having the ability to go to Michael's or Home Depot on a whim just to test out little pieces of what you want. And it really shows that she's able to really adapt. And I think she'll be a wonderful architect. And I can't wait to see her real project when it comes to life. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, okay, great. Thank you guys so much. Um, thanks for participating. And thanks for all your hard work, Nancy, and helping Kava. You know, appreciate it. We all appreciate it. I know that, you know, it's challenging. <laughs> but um, we really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, you man, so much for like this oh. whole year, like like pushing me on, helping me out, helping me find contacts and find things for the, my future. Yeah. I really, really appreciate You're it. You're welcome. I'm here for you. It's always STEM is always very challenging and it always is very, very fun. <laughs>